We're sequencing Zika viruses here in my lab to understand, are they different from the Zika viruses that have come before? My role is to look at how the virus genome has been changing through time and how it might be adapting to respond to new geographic regions, human populations, and even mosquito populations. We can use the genotype or the genetic signature of the viruses to ask which are they most closely related to. And if we have all of those relatives dated by place and time, it helps us reconstruct the history of the viral movement, and we can also understand better whether the virus is changing through that movement. We know that Zika virus has been around since the late 1940s, early 1950s, when it was first detected in Africa, and that it's been circulating in very low levels, maybe impacting 10 to 15 people it only really became more widespread phenomenon when it was introduced into the Pacific Island nation of Yap in 2007. And those viruses really did impact more people. And then those viruses moved into French Polynesia, were detected in 2013. We found that essentially the viruses that are in Brazil came from those same viruses that were found in French Polynesia. And that since spreading outwards from Brazil, it's a bit of a mishmash. It spreads so rapidly. The viruses that preceded the Brazil viruses and the French Polynesian viruses and even the Yap viruses, they do come from Africa. They are a little different. We don't know the meaning of those differences. We don't know if the genetic mutations that separate those African viruses are what has allowed the virus to spread so rapidly. So those are the kinds of work that my lab and others are doing to ask how the viruses have been changing and what might be the key to their own success in human populations and humans living with mosquitoes side by side.